confusion on the new refrigerants. In today's video, I wanna talk about the new refrigerants, the timeline of things, and the biggest confusion of all of this is the fact that each state is on a different timeline. Some of the states are approving the new refrigerants sooner than others. Some of them have stipulations and codes kicking in for different things going on in the industry. And because of that, it adds a lot of confusion. This is already a confusing topic for some. I've actually sat in classes over the last year or two with other heating and air pros and some of the questions that they're asking, I'm like, maybe these guys should watch my YouTube channel because they're very not up to date. So when we get to say the end consumer, the homeowner that is hiring some of these guys, it can be quite daunting. There's a lot of information out there. We've done videos on this topic, talking about the timeline of things, but the fact that every state is different plays a role in all of this. There are some rules or laws that kick into effect and affect the entire country. And then there are some rules and codes and so on that only affect your state or your neighboring state and it doesn't affect you. So in this video, I wanna show you a way to clear up that confusion. The Air Conditioning, Heating and Refrigeration Institute, better known as AHRI, and we've talked about AHRI on our channel a bunch of times. We've talked about certificates and warranties and rebates, government rebates that sometimes require a certificate from AHRI for the equipment that you had installed. So AHRI does all kinds of cool things, but one of the things that they've recently done is launch a website that has a map that will show you up-to-date laws, codes, and so on for your state. And I'm gonna put a link to that website down in the description of this video. You'll be able to use the map, it's interactive, so you can click on each state. Maybe you live at the border of one of the states and your supplier's one state over. Well, that affects you. Maybe you've, again, heard some different information and you're not quite sure if that makes sense for your area. This website or map is meant to clear all of that up. You'll be able to click it. You'll be able to read what's pertinent for your area. And also it will be updated from time to time. So as things change, as this timeline, this train moves on, if you will, then you'll be able to go back to the map and see, well, okay, what's up to date now? What's going on in my state now? So here's what that website currently looks like. I say currently, because maybe it might change in the future, but if you look here, the top of the webpage says A2L Refrigerant Building Code Map. And as you come down, here is that map that we were talking about. So each state, as you see, as I hover over each state, it highlights that state. And so let's just click on one right here. Here's Missouri. And it shows you information on the left of some of the current codes that are going on in that particular state. It shows you that legislation has passed in that particular state. I'm in Virginia. So as you look at Virginia during the recording of this video, it's been more recent for Virginia to approve a lot of this stuff than many of the other states. As we go across here, you'll see that each state is a little different. You see that Florida approved A2L refrigerants years ago. But the other thing I wanna highlight here is the fact that it shows the, not just AC codes, but it shows you refrigeration codes, warehousing codes, and so on, it could say, yes, there has been some sort of legislation that's been passed in that particular state, but then you go to a different state, it'll say, no, it has not been updated for certain sectors, that there's legislation that's been passed that will cover the refrigerants themselves, but they are not necessarily having broken down refrigeration or air conditioning codes per se, or even warehousing codes. And the last thing I wanna show you is it shows you where you can click and get more information on that particular code, where it shows the actual information for the legislation that was passed that will be pertinent for your particular state. So again, we just clicked Colorado. Let's try a state like New York. And you see it's got the legislation right here. If we click that, it actually downloaded a PDF. And then you could go through and actually read up-to-date pertinent information on that particular legislation. So you can get up-to-date information. It shows some of the ASHRAE information that they are referencing down in the bottom left of this map. And as you go through this timeline of things, as we said, the federal government has said, hey, here's our timeline of things. And the states have to almost fall in with that, although they all seem to do it at their own pace. We've done videos talking about the phase down of 410A. We've done videos talking about how the equipment itself is going to be completely phased out 
by the beginning of 2025. Now, there are folks that are trying to fight back against that. They're trying to extend that timeline. But regardless, you'll be able to go to this map and see where your state falls on this whole thing. For the longest time, there were a percentage of states that had approved the A2L refrigerants to some level, and then there were states that had not. And as we get closer and closer to that 2025 deadline, you're going to see not only each state taking care of this, but they're also going to be doing it in their own way. It's possible that one state may say, well, listen, we we'll approve them, but here are some codes and laws that we're going to enforce. And just one state over, they're going to handle it completely different. And you may say, why is that, Josh? Why, why are they all handling it differently? Well, I think that that's a whole nother topic at hand. It's the same reason why different states handle different political issues differently. Lastly, as we wrap up, I just want to show you that the other folks that are affected by this are also in the bottom right corner down be between Texas and Florida on this map. They're showing you some of the U.S. territories that are not necessarily states, but are still affected by these laws some of them being in quite warm locations. And so this is a big deal to them. They are going to have to abide by these rules and laws. It affects their equipment and so on. Being in a warm location, probably want to have air conditioning and they've got to figure this stuff out too. So all that said, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Leave a comment down in the comment section. Hit that like button. If you like this video, I think you'll like this one even more. It's where we talk about some of the most common furnace issues that I see. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.